Hi, welcome to another edition of Tool Tips with Tony the Tool Man. I'm here with, with Steve Herman and, of Renz and Auspice in Seattle, Washington. We're here to talk about Knipex. And I think I kidded a little bit earlier in one of our, one of our uh, blogs about calling it Knipex and all kinds of different stuff, Steve. But it is Knipex, actually... Knipex, Knipex. The Germans prefer Knipex. Knipex, okay. Well, that's good. Let's start with there. What is the origin of this, uh, this tool line? Where's it, where's it made and where's it come from? Knipex is made in Wuppertal, Germany. Uh, it's been around since 1882. Uh, they're currently the largest manufacturer of pliers worldwide with over 100 and, well, let's see, 1,200 SKUs. Wow. It's pretty, pretty substantial. And we all know that, of course, Germans make the best of steel. That's where our carbide comes from in the United States. And they Correct. certainly have the best... Uh, Best product over they, there. They actually uh, make all their tools from chrome vanadium, electrically treated steel, uh, which makes it lightweight, long lasting, and very, very durable. Good stuff. Yes. Good stuff. So let's get into these uh, tools. Uh, we'll talk about each one here and we'll come in and take a close up and let's have Steve do a little demo. Let's. Uh, can you start off with this one right here? Absolutely. The best selling tool in the line is the 10 inch Cobra pump plier. Uh, this has 25 different adjustments, a full 2 inch capacity. This is a fairly new tool. This is an improvement from uh, the Cobra of two years ago, which has 30% more capacity. And the key to this tool is it's a box joint design. It has induction hardened uh, teeth and a pinch guard. So you can never actually pinch yourself no matter where the tool is adjusted. Now, I've been, I'm a weekend warrior, so I've yeah. been out on the road too. And I see a lot of knockoffs out there for the, this kind of tool. But this is actually the Knipex Cobra plier. Right? This is the original right here. This has okay. been around for 20 plus years. Okay, well, let's, let's see what this thing can do. Come on okay. and take a close, close up look at this. The best selling tool in the line, this is the 10 inch Cobra pump plier, part number 8701250. And again, we'll go over some of the features of this tool. I don't know if we can focus on that, but it's a box joint design. Uh, that makes it a little bit more expensive to manufacture, but makes it also makes it a self-locking plier. So this will grip onto a flat, round, hex, and square and lock onto it. Also, you can see it's a very, very thin profile, so you can use this for a lot more applications. It's got induction-hardened teeth, and that's the first thing that usually wears out on a pump plier. And this is an important thing. I don't know if we can focus on this. If you can see the geometry of the teeth on the upper and the lower, on the lower, they're actually facing forward. On the upper, they're facing back. And that's what gives you the ability to grip onto pipe and not have to squeeze the wrench. So, And again, this has 25 different adjustments, a full 2-inch capacity, and we'll demonstrate the self-locking property of the Cobra pump plier. So once I have it gripped onto pipe, flat, square, or hex, I don't have to actually squeeze anymore. All you have to do is push. That's great. So this is an ergonomic feature that is really helpful in the field. Uh, once you do have it locked on, you don't have to squeeze. If you're doing one-handed work, once you have it on there, you can just push. To release it, just lift up on the top handle. Now the amazing thing is that everybody I know that have purchased these have never gone back to a regular set of pump pliers again. Absolutely not. Like it's, it's, it's uh, the, the other tools are, are akin to kind of, you know, the Stone Age, and these are more modern type pliers. So. Great stuff. Okay. okay. Let's take a look at a few more other tools. So this is a, this happens to be my favorite tool. Why don't you go ahead and describe this to us, Steve? Very good. This is called the Raptor. I don't know if you can tell from the geometry of the head. It kind of looks like a, a bird. This won the uh, Hand Tool of the Year Award from Popular Mechanics four years ago. Uh, this is kind of a specialty tool, but it has a lot of different applications. So unlike our pump plier with the induction of hardened teeth, this is actually smooth jaw. So this is going to replace a crescent wrench or a set of open end wrenches. And again, it has that patented box joint design uh, that makes this a lot better for gripping and also you don't have to squeeze the tool once you have it on the fastener. So let's see what this thing can do up close. Very good. Are we good? Okay, here we go. And again, the uh, Raptor is a box joint design, fully adjustable with the push button adjustment. If you are working on a certain size of fastener, you can adjust it, put it down, pick it up, and it's ready to go again. It is fully adjustable from this size all the way up to this size. And where this tool actually excels is in applications like this. Say you have a nut that is too close to use a socket onto, you can actually get this on and actually do your work. But the reason why it won the award is this application right here. 
So you have a rounded hex nut, the whole job stops while you get an easy out or you drill out the bulk. I don't know if we can see where that connects on there, but once it grabs it, you can actually back out the hex nut. Okay, this is, this is the reason why I think this is a fantastic tool. There's not a person out there who hasn't stripped a nut in their, in their life Absolutely. And, and left that thing hanging someplace. I just did it in my car here not too long ago, and I wish I had had that thing. That's a spectacular tool. The whole job stops while you're fooling around with one bolt, and that's where this comes so in. So. Sounds like a time saver. Absolutely. Let's look, let's look at some other tools. Okay, the pliers wrench. This is another one of my favorites, probably second favorite anyway. Go ahead and give us some information on this one, Steve. Yeah, this is a, a very unique tool. Uh, this is a patented tool. This is the world's only three-piece adjustable wrench. So you're taking really the best of two worlds. If you took a pump plier and a crescent wrench and combined them, you get the Knipex pliers wrench. So this is fully adjustable, push button adjustments between zero and one and three quarter, an infinite amount of adjustments because of the power cam. And again, it is a box joint design, so you have even leverage when you're working on fasteners. Now, when you talk about a box joint design, that costs extra money to make that that way, doesn't it? Not? It does. It does. But Knipex is synonymous with ergonomics and making the best hand tools for uh, people in the trades, and that's what it's all about. Well, that's what we're about. Try to save you some money, find a quality hand tool. Let's go ahead and take a look at this stuff up close. The Knipex. Uh, pliers wrench, and again, that's a three piece adjustable wrench. That piece moves on that channel in parallel. The key to this tool is that little power cam right there. So, I'm going to demonstrate why this works better than a set of open end wrenches or crescent wrench. Just grab a penny here, we'll just grab an edge of it, and with very minimal effort, I don't know if you can see that, you have 10 to 1 compound leverage with this tool. So, I'll demonstrate. On this right here, once you have a Knipex pliers wrench on a fastener, it's not going to go anywhere. Again, the 10 to 1 compound leverage. If it's a repetitive job, I don't have to take this off and fight it to put it back on again. All I have to do is loosen my grip slightly and use that like a ratchet. That's a big time wow, saver. That is a time saver. So you always have a very firm hold on your fastener and you're going to speed up the process. And again, this, this nose part seems to be thinner than uh, the competitors out there. That's very common with all Knipex tools. Um, again, they're made from chrome vanadium steel. It's a stronger steel, so we're able to, to taper these more and actually make them where they can be used in more applications. Wow, incredible. So if you're trying to get it in between, say, a, a stud or a piece of steel in between there, that thing's going to fit in there and you can actually use it. Correct. That's good stuff. Many, many different applications. That's great stuff. Okay, we've got another tool to look at before we bug out. Uh, let's, let's get back and take a, take a look at this one. And our last tool today, uh, Steve's going to go over. We'll talk about this one. Probably an electrician's dream. It is. It's, uh, this is another proprietary tool that only Knipex makes. It's a 10 inch high leverage diagonal. This one has a uh, 20 degree bevel on it so you can actually use it for almost flush cutting. Uh, I want to demonstrate a few uh, unique features on this tool that uh, none of the other uh, competitors actually have. Well, let's get a close up on it and take a look. And we'll take a, a look at some of the design features on this uh, tool. And again, it is a 10-inch tool, so you're going to have 25% more compound leverage than an 8-inch tool. Um, this has induction-hardened cutting edges, and this also has a proprietary rivet joint design, which is going to eliminate wobble or any kind of slip in that joint. Uh, a lot of electricians will use these customarily to cut nails, and because they lack another tool to do it. It's handy. Um, I just want to demonstrate with this. Tony, if I can ask you to hold on to either side so we sure. don't hurt the camera person, I'll hold on to that side. With very minimal effort, we can cut through a very large wow. nail on that. Wow. And to demonstrate what it does to the cutting edge, here we'll just grab a little piece that doesn't harm that cutting edge at all. Wow. So I, I'm very familiar with a lot of the competitors out there. If you'd cut a, a nail with one of theirs, I mean, you would see a hole basically in the you, blade. Right you, away. You'd see a notch in the blade yeah. or some kind of uh, you know uh, you know defect in there. But uh, we've used these uh, same pair for demonstrating for three and a half years wow. with uh, no ill effect. Impressive, impressive. Once again, that German steel back at work. Chrome vanadium electrically treated steel, Wuppertal, Germany, lifetime warranty. Wow, good stuff. Okay, let's get back to uh, the tool den here, and we'll close it up. So, Steve, thanks for coming. My pleasure. Appreciate it. Steve Herman from Renz and Auspice in the tool den with Tony the Tool Man. You've seen several tips. Knipex. Wow, what a great line. We're happy to have it. 
coming to a service center closest to you. I'm Tony the Toolman. Remember, be good to your tools, and they'll be good to you. See you again next time.